What's up, guys? Ram the Man here with another update. I just want to kind of show you guys. I must be having some kind of issue with this caliper. I think it might be time to replace it. Um, I push on the gas, or not the gas, I'm accelerating, I push on the brake. You know, I watch to see if the cylinder or a piston, you know, pushed out. And it didn't do anything. So I'm not sure if it just needs like a rebuild or, I mean, it probably does need a rebuild. It'd probably be best to buy a new one, which I think I'm going to buy a new one only for the sole fact of, you know, I'm just, I'm tired of waiting to drive the truck, you know, I mean, to really, really enjoy the truck, you know, being able to like drive it every single day with confidence that it's not going to break down or shut off or nothing like that. Um, but yeah, so for now, I think I'm, I'm going to buy a new caliber, but then I think maybe down the line, I'm going to buy a new, um, you know, like a, like a rebuild kit for the caliber. But aside from that, look at this. This is just from when I moved the truck from the bottom of the driveway to the top of the driveway. But so these are my these are my pads. Set it off like this and then it kinda got out to here. That's not the thing though. Check this one out. See that? Yeah, that part's not even getting touched. Or barely touched. And then look at this. On the back, this is like the back of the rotor. You can see it right there. It still feels pretty smooth. And it feels a little, you know, a little rough. I mean, not really rough, but you know. But yeah, that's really smooth. Oh, and now you can see, you can better see it. It's all the way around. So I'm pretty sure this caliper is gonna have to go. Cause I mean, maybe this it's not pushing out straight or something. Like the piston inside is not pushing out straight. It's kind of going in, kind of like a kind of or something like that or something, where it's only like pushing up on one side. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think the whole caliper setup is kind of, you know, really old. As you can see, everybody started stripping down, or it started to, uh, like, round off the edges for the, um, you know, for the bleeder screw. So, and I had the right socket on there, that's the thing. So, I was, like, really in there, man, I can get some channel locks or something on there. And, um, you know, or uh, not trying to lock, like vice, vice grips. And see if I can get it to turn that way. But I don't know, for only 28 bucks. And the rebuild kit, I think it was like 24 $25. Versus a new cylinder or a new caliper, you know, 28 bucks. So I think it might be time to do that. Um, What else? That's really it. I mean, I'm getting some noise. I'm pretty sure it's from that. Pretty sure I'm getting like you know like the the sound when there's like too much of um, you know the springs are all the way compressed up and you know like the the shaft is like you know stretching out. You know as it's as it's squatting down. I think people were saying if you like notch this out, like the edges to where like the bolts, where they spin, it doesn't hit that or something. Um, I don't know. I think I may just, you know, get something else. I read a I read a good bit about where people do get like rear axle or rear drive shafts and just made it up here to the front. I thought it was a smart idea. Only thing I was worried about that is once, once the, uh, you know, the truck is like all the way down and the springs are compressed all the way, you know, 
the axle or the drive shaft doesn't have like a CV joint or not even a joint I don't even know what's really behind here but it doesn't have something that'll extend to kind of go with it so it'll just stay the same length but once it crunches down the caster will change every time it'll flex because the cast the you know the wheels are being pulled back it's kind of like axle wrap for the front for the front axle but like in a, a reverse kind of way if that makes sense like I said, all speculation. But yeah, so um, new caliper is gonna be put on. Um, I'm not. I may get this. I may get this um, swapped out when I get my gears done. Um, that's probably gonna happen sooner than later. But I'm looking to get a trailer, so I'm kind of undecided as far as when I'm gonna buy. Hopefully, if I can catch a good deal on the trailer. I'll be able to get my um, my gears, you know, changed over too. So that'd be a bonus. So look out for that. I'm gonna, you know, show you guys a picture of the trailer once I get it. Um, yeah, that's really it. Only thing I'm thinking about. Um, gonna do the back brakes, which I said before, but that's gonna be happening in the next couple of weeks. Um, new uh, caliper that's gonna be happening in the next couple of weeks. Um, new rim that's gonna come in like two weeks. What else? Um, maybe a new drag link. I kind of want to show you guys this. I don't know if my phone's gonna have enough battery. Oh. But what? Here's like the tie rod bar. Right? See. probably just put some new fluid in there but that looks like it's the original so it's probably about time to change them out anyway but I mean I don't know it's not like it's like really loose it has some tension to it but I don't know it doesn't I'm not supposed to be able to do that not by hand anyway but um here's oh it's gonna shut off soon Here's the Pittman arm. Okay, I'm going to make this part two. Bye, YouTube. Ranch Landon Man signing out.